psychologists have long understood that each person views the world from their own unique perspective and have concluded that a human being's personality, among other things, affects their perception of reality. A combination of biology, temperament, and life experiences provoke people to see the world from their own unique perspective. Thus, the concept of an objective reality has often been the topic of rigorous debate among philosophers and scholars. Everyone lives in their own version of reality, where our common ground is often established through conformity to a set of arbitrary standards. What if we were able to challenge the paradigm of the private and public self and expand upon our different perceptions of reality rather than minimize it? Imagine a shared space that acted as an operating system for virtual environment apps. The R3, our rearranged reality room, is a customizable virtual environment meticulously placed on top of an actual environment. The shape and dimensions of physical objects like lamps, coffee tables, and couches would be a shared reality, but the aesthetics, i.e. color and design of these objects, and the environment itself could be customized by each individual in the room. Each person in the room could see and hear their own version of the same space through the use of lightweight eyewear and an integrated user interface. A gaming engine provides the most practical and cost-effective way to create a virtual environment because of the large amount of existing templates that already track the movement of the computer-generated characters along the X, Y, and Z axis while in first person. This method will minimize the amount of programming and thus time necessary to complete this project. Utilizing a game engine will eliminate the potential latencies of using video while also providing the user more opportunities to manipulate their environment. The natural field of view for human sight is roughly 180 degrees. Most retail-ready HMD glasses or head-mounted displays only offer between 30 and 50 degrees. A minimum of 160 degree field of view is necessary to create the effect of immersion. Each user will also have a handheld device that will control the person's environment and interactions with the virtual objects only that person can see. The user enters the environment while wearing a head-mounted display. The virtual environment the user sees is in perfect alignment with the furniture and objects in the actual room. Each person in the room will be represented by a computer-generated avatar. Each avatar will be seen by all the people in the room regardless of what environment that user is experiencing. Utilizing a game engine will eliminate the potential latencies of using video while also providing the user more opportunities to manipulate their environment. The R3 is a vehicle for personal expression, education, and human interaction that may provide insight to the following. When people occupy a shared space, how much does our individual reaction to the space itself affect our interactions with each other? Is it possible for people to share an engaging experience with another person while completely immersed in their own environment? Can communication through isolated environments provide a balance between privacy and the desire to be among others? Is it possible to create a virtual environment that acts like an online profile page that allows others to understand how that person feels? The R3 project will consist of two teams and five people in total. The team will consist of three programmers, a lead programmer, a character programmer, and an environments programmer. There will be another team of content developers. One is the character designer. The other is the environment designer. The R3 project can be broken down to the following components. There is a conceptual component, a design component, the programming, phase one testing of software, phase two testing of hardware, construction, and phase three testing the usability. 